Hi guys, it's Jeff from Kiss the Fish. Today we're going to be doing another unboxing video. Today we're going to be unboxing the Reddington Field Kit for bass. Got it in just a couple days ago. I've been waiting to do an unboxing video. This is going to be an uncut video. So I have this camera going here in front of me and this camera going over on the side. Hopefully I can get all the views and angles that you guys want to see. Uh, I will mention after getting this, I actually had a hard time even finding one of these. I've been looking for the bass kit for uh, a good few months, and I found one dealer on Amazon that had it. I haven't been able to buy it direct. I haven't been able to buy it through, say, like Cabela's or Bass Pro. Um, maybe they'll come back in stock soon, and if they do, I'll try and leave a link for you down bottom. But until then, let's get into opening this. So. This was delivered from, the dealer was Black Dog Shooting Sports out of Glenville, New York. So thank you guys. Let me see. Now we can cut the tape. You guys can see what I get to see. Business card and a receipt. Get over inside. Got a pretty awesome sticker. So that's just coming directly from that sporting goods store. Looks like it's packaged in there pretty good. Lots of packing paper. Okay, good to know. And when you go to pull out of the box, this slides right off. <laughs> so let's just do it. Let's take it right out of the box. So on the cover of the box says Reddington Field Kit Bass, 9 foot 7 weight, fly fishing combo, ready to fish. The sticker price on there is three. $349.95. On the back it says, from smallmouth in the Midwest to largemouth in the Southeast, even, and even carp in the Columbia River. Bass Field Kit is built to handle your warm water fishing needs. The medium, fa this, oh, excuse me. The medium fast action rod is perfect for first time casters, but still offers plenty of power to pull out, pull bass out of structure. Paired with a run reel, and real warm water, quick shooter fly line, this kit is ready to fish. The bass field kit is perfect for the angler wanting at, for the angler wanting add fly fishing to their quiver for pursuing bass. Man, I tripped up on my words hard. Anywho, so we have the case, I believe it says it's a Kodora carrying case for keeping the gear safe. It's a nice, Deep green. No, it's a hard plastic cap on the end. And the tube itself is nice and hard. And then you can feel the, the soft padded uh, Reddington fly reel case. I'll show you that over here as well. There's a tight handle on top. There's no backpacking handle, but I can imagine you could strap this right to your backpack. All right, so where do we want to start? Let me start over here. Want to unzip? Just going to the box here. Oh, they already have it. They already have it paired to the butt end of the reel. Let's start off what comes out here. You got the warranty registration. It comes with a leader. It's a nine foot, 0.012 inch, 10 pound. Tapered leader, real. All right. I will say this is not screwed down super tight, so I would turn it on there once you get it. Very pretty.
Nice cork. It's not plastic wrapped or anything, so looks like it was showroom ready. This is ready to go and fish right now. That Reddington run. You know, I like that it's set up not over packed, so you're not going to struggle on your return. I bought a uh, kit before and the fly line and backing were so packed in there you couldn't if, if, if you get everything all wet you're trying to retrieve it was like you couldn't even turn the reel okay let's see how this uh we've got here's the next section So it is a four piece. Now this rod is going to be replacing my streamer rod, which met its unfortunate end. At least the handle of it did. I should say the, uh, the real seat, not the handle. It actually has it actually has uh, lineup pins, lineup dots. So let's put her together. Take a step back from the chair. Try not to bang this on anything. So you're walking safe. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna go this way with it. Ready? Here we go. Beautiful combo. Now I'll be using this, like I said, for heavier, heavier streamer flies, um, weighted streamer flies, unweighted streamer flies, uh, and maybe at some point I'll I'll try one of my other. I have another Reddington run that has sink tip on it, and I have another reel that's loaded up with uh, floating line. So we'll try a few different combos on this, but I want to try it with this warm water reel line that's on here. It's a, uh, looks like it changes tone before it gets to the backing. I'll give you a, a few little notes from the website. Let's see. So it's a medium fast rod and it's it perfect for first time caster. Um, it's the Reddington Run, which is a 7-8 reel. This is the drag system. I'm familiar with it. I have, uh, like I said, I have another Reddington Run and I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and then it's quick shooter line, uh, real warm water. This is a nine foot rod uh, with a 7-8 reel and seven weight line. And this all came in, and it, it was right around three fifty. dollars um, I don't know what the price will be when you guys are going to get them, but that's what I paid at the beginning of 2022. It says, let's see, the, the reel is a large arbor design for quick line retrieval, powerful carbon drag system that offers smooth stopping power. And yeah, I can't wait to get out on there. Right now, I'm still looking at snow out in the backyard, uh, but some of the some of the areas around me are starting to thaw up. You know, we've got a lot of the rivers are all open, and the ponds are starting to open up. Hopefully, within the next next few weeks, we'll be able to get out there for the pre-spawn with the bass. 
if you can get on some pickerel. And there's been pike stocked over the last couple of years in one of the local lakes. How killer would that be? But all right. Well, I hope you guys like this unboxing video. I can't wait to get a, my first video shot with this in action. Until that time, I hope you guys hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.